Hello there again, Matt Lovers, Mabuhay for the 2019 MTOP Reviewer MMC for Grade 5 Elimination. For question number 8, in the set 440, 450, 460, 480, which of the numbers is a sum of 4 consecutive whole numbers? Okay. Again, in the set 440, 450, 460, and 480, which of the numbers is a sum of 4 consecutive whole numbers? Okay. So, the question is simply asking, alin sa set of numbers na to ang sum o ang sagot kapag pinag-add mo ang apat na consecutive whole numbers or magkakasunod na whole numbers? Okay. So, ang una nating dapat malaman, Ano ba yung unang number ng apat na addends natin? Okay. So yung solution for this problem, since the four numbers are consecutive, let us assume na yung ating first term ay a sub 1. Yung first term natin represents our first number, a sub 1. That means, since magkakasunod sila, pag nag-add tayo ng 1 kay a sub 1, that will be our second number or the second term. Pag nag-add tayo ng 2 kay a sub 1, that will serve as our third number. At pag nag-add tayo ng 3 kay a sub 1, that will serve as our fourth number. And let us use s sub 4 to denote the sum of the four consecutive numbers. Okay. So the sum or the s sub 4 is simply... The sum of the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. Or simply, first number plus the second number plus the third number plus the fourth number. Always remember, ang inahanap natin, alin dun sa mga numbers na yon na ang sum ng apat na magkakasunod na number. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, that means, isa substitute lang natin yung a sub 1 sa first term plus a sub 1 plus 1 sa second term plus a sub 1 plus 2 sa third term plus a sub 1 plus 3 sa fourth term. Okay. That will give us s sub 4 equals we have 4 a sub 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat na a sub 1. So we have 4 a sub 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. So we have s sub 4 equals 4 a sub 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Okay. So, ito yung naging final natin kanina. So, kung ating s sub 4 is equal to 4 a sub 1 plus 6, that means, ang ating first term ay ito. Kasi kailangan natin makuha yung ating first term para malaman natin kung ano yung apat na numbers. Okay. So, transpose 6, so we'll have s sub 4 minus 6, which is equal to 4a sub 1. Dividing both sides by 4. So, yung ating a sub 1, so kakansel na natin yung 4. Yung formula for the a sub 1 is s sub 4, yung sum, minus 6, i-divide natin sa 4. Okay. Using the formula we that we, we can determine now the answer to our problem. So, ang gagamitin natin formula ay s sub 4 minus 6 over 4, which is 8 equal to a sub 1. Okay. Remember, ang inahanap natin ay apat na whole numbers. That means, if this is divided, divided into 4, yung sum natin minus 4, dapat divisible siya by 4. Kasi kung hindi, uh, Kasi kung hindi siya divisible by 4, we'll never have, we will, we will not have a whole number, whole first number. Okay, so let us now check which of the given satisfies the condition. So 440 minus 4, yung unang number natin is equal to 434. 450 minus 6 is equal to 444. Ito yung pangalawa nating number. Yung pangatlo nating number ay 460 minus 6 which is equal to 454. At yung last number natin ay 480 minus 6 is equal to 474. We have to take note that the divisibility rule states that the last two digits of a given number must be divisible by 4 for it to be divisible by 4. 
Okay, check natin kung alin dito yung divisible by 4. Kasabi ko nga sa inyo, dapat whole number siya. Para pag nilivay natin siya kay 4, uh, dapat divisible siya kay 4. Para pag nilivay natin siya kay 4, whole number siya. 4, 3, 4. Ang dalawang last number niya ay 34. 34 is not divisible by 4. So, X na siya. 444. Ang last two digit niya ay 44. 44 is divisible by 4. So, check siya. Okay. 454, ang last two digit ay 54, hindi yung divisible by 4. And 474, ang last two digit ay 74, and that is not also divisible by 4. So in the set 440, 454, 64, 80, the only number na divisible by 4, after nating isubtract yung 6, ay 450. Para ma-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin, so kukunin natin yung value ng ating a sub 1 or first number. That is simply, yung sum niya ay 450 minus 6 is equal to 444 divided by 4 equals to 111. So pag in natin yung tatlong kasunod na number ni 111 which is 112, 111 plus 112 plus 113 plus 114, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 450. So, our answer for this problem is 450.